Today, the world is experiencing environmental challenges so large and complex that we need to rethink how to tackle them. We have developed a model to help small and medium-sized companies in joining forces and co-creating holistic solutions for the global market. This model is called the Competitiveness Amplification Model. The main benefit uh, I see for Danish companies when they are going to use the competitiveness amplification model is to be better equipped at uh, dealing with co-creation, uh, which really means engaging with the local stakeholders in the foreign markets, be better adapted to understanding their needs, engaging in a much more uh, closer dialogue with them in building the right solution. The first element of the model is pull, locating the need for Danish clean tech on the global market. It's important to use a kind of, of a pull attitude where you go out, you experience what solution is needed around the world because they don't just need a product, they need a solution, a full solution, full-scale solution. If you go with a push strategy rather than a pull strategy, um, you risk not having uh, local ownership. When you have a pull situation, people are often willing to change management, to change policy, to provide the vision. Whereas in a push situation, you might find that people are reluctant to change the way they manage the city, the way the policies work. And therefore, you end up again with a vision that is just words and cannot be implemented. Once you have identified the pull, you enter the second element of the model, analyze. Here, you move from a macro level to a micro level of analysis. When we go in and analyze a market, we try to identify the drivers on the market, the drivers for our water treatment technology. And the drivers, they could be, for example, it could be environmental laws, environmental regulations, which put limits on what kind of water you can discharge into the rivers or into the seas. Organize is the third element of the model. Here you organize and involve stakeholders in Denmark and in the local market. Before going into a project, it's very important to organize. All kind of business or, or whatever is between people. It's not between two companies or two organizations. So everything is about people. Uh, so you have to invest time into a project not only for hardcore business, but also to get to know each other and to learn about each other and to learn about the culture. Under Organize, we also find the general assumption that all parties believe that they are stronger as a group. We're very proud of our technology, but we also understand that our technology is, is a part of the solution, not the full solution. If we want to be in the marketplace providing solutions to the full-scale problem, we need, to, we need to work together with other companies. Following Organize, we find Co-Create. Here, holistic solutions are created in collaboration. These will be more sustainable than traditional approaches. We would want to build solutions that are sustainable in the local environment. Uh, our experience has been that you cannot just take a solution from Denmark and say it's going to work in uh, Malaysia or China or India. Uh, these are very different markets with very different environments and backgrounds. The benefit for co-created solutions for small companies is an opportunity to be part of larger projects which would otherwise be completely out of scope. Creating a sustainable solution through co-creation will generate an even stronger pull for Danish clean tech to solve the world's environmental challenges. This makes the circular motion of the competitiveness amplification model come into play. The result is an increased competitiveness globally for Danish clean tech. There's no doubt that what's happening with the climate around the world makes demand for new solutions. We need a real strategic uh, attitude towards uh, bringing out Danish products within a solution addressing key uh, environmental uh, questions around the world. The co-creation process uh, is not an easy one. Uh, but I think that if we use the CAM model it's easier to gather momentum and to align the various stakeholders uh, that would eventually take part uh, in the co-creation process. So from that point of view, I think the CAM model uh, is really the starting point for companies that would want to engage in co-creation.